early morning, 5.45 a.m., I come out and feed the kitties. They're wandering away. I had 14 at one time, then down to eight. Lately, it's been down to four or five. So as they get older, they venture out. I had one follow me over a mile. I walked to the corner 7-Eleven, went across busy 27th Avenue and Camelback. And as I was coming back, there she was. She waited across the busy street and followed me back home. <laughs> I was very surprised. All that to say, it's my own personal opinion, I always state so. I was reading Revelation chapter 21 through 22, the last two chapters. It would do you well to read that more than once. Alpha and Omega, true witness, you find it twice, the beginning and the end. The, First and the last, the author and the finisher. First and the last is a great key. Let's take the word first. L, first, is the father. The father was before the son. So what is first? The spirit was before the word. Spirit thought out his eternal purpose and plan before he moved and created. So the spirit moved before he spoke or wrote. So what was first? The spirit before the word, spoken or written. Now where the enemy is confused the word of God, first of all, he hid the name of God, Y-H-V-H. Every time you find Lord in capital letters in the Old Testament, it's actually the name, not a title, but the name in Hebrew. The second big one he did was put image before likeness. Invisible likeness is first. The spiritual or the invisible world that we cannot see created this world. So likeness is before image. So you, when you read, uh, let us make man in our image, it should be in our likeness. Man's spirit soul is what crosses over and continues after his flesh. So likeness spirit is before image human person and there's only one person human image mediator in the godhead the rest of the godhead is spirit likeness likeness before image as spirit is before word think on those things pray on those things and i'm not concerned at having my eyes open to see the condition of the world i'd like to open your eyes for a hope for the future, new heaven, new earth, new Jerusalem. I make all things new. That's four. That's locked in major doctrine. Locked in major doctrine. And you find all of that that I quoted in 21 to 22 of Revelation. I think Revelation was written after Rome was set on fire in 64 AD and before 70 AD when the temple was destroyed because two-thirds of Revelation is written to the nation Israel. So I think the prophet got it, wrote it down, and it was there for Israel or the religion Judaism to read. Love ya. Bye.